Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna teach you how to choose the right outlet for your home and how to identify different types of outlets in your home. So we've got six different outlets here, which may look very similar, but they actually have significant differences. Now, I've arranged them in the order of the least expensive option to the most expensive option here, and we'll go through each one of these differences and how you can identify them. So the first two outlets we're gonna take a look at are our commercial grade and residential grade outlet. We've got our commercial grade right here and residential grade. The residential grade is a much thinner outlet than the commercial outlet. You can tell they're probably about an eighth or 16th inch in difference in thickness. So over here, we've got the commercial grade and we've got the residential grade over here. Now, once you go to the back on the commercial grade, you can also see that it has heftier components. For the ground wire, we have this hefty ground bus bar that goes all the way through the back versus this one just has a small internal bar inside of it. You also have better facilities for back wiring this device with the commercial grade outlet whereas over here you've just got these teeny tiny little holes for back wiring where here you're going to get a much more secure grip on those wires and it's going to be easier to install that back wire for the commercial grade outlet the commercial grade outlet also has higher quality components and heavier dutier components which are designed to last longer than the residential grade components you can also tell it's commercial grade because we have this spec grade stamp on the back in any commercial outlet outlet is going to have that spec grade nomenclature on the back. Now, another thing we want to look for on these outlets is what is their rating? So this is a 15 amp, 125 volt outlet. And the same thing is listed right here on this outlet. We've got 15 amps and 125. But another way that you can identify a 15 amp outlet from a 20 amp outlet is that the 20 amp outlets will have this additional tab right here. So all four of these we can tell just by looking at them are 15 amp outlets because they all just have the straight receptacle plugs where the 20 amp outlets that we have here have this additional extra T. So the next outlet that we're gonna move up to is this residential grade tamper resistant outlet. So neither of these two are tamper resistant. A tamper resistant outlet prevents somebody from putting something into the device and then touching those conductors. There's a little piece of plastic in here that will only open up if both of these ports have something going into them at the same time. So if I just compare that to the commercial grade outlet that's non-tamper resistant, you can see we've got our wire here and I can stick that all the way down in there way down in the device and if that was live you would get a shock with our residential grade tamper resistant outlet over here i cannot get that in very far at all and what that is designed to do is protect kids or anyone from putting something in here and accidentally getting shocked now it's not a hundred percent foolproof but it does help prevent potential injuries by having that tamper resistance. So this residential grade outlet, once again, you can tell it's residential grade. We don't have any kind of spec grade rating on the back. It's an entirely plastic body and we don't have that bus bar as well as it doesn't have those back wire option terminals like we get on the commercial grade. So the next outlet that I would step up to is the commercial grade 15 amp tamper resistant outlet and we can tell it's tamper resistant once again we can put this in there and that does not go very far but you can also tell this one is tamper resistant because it has this tr right on the front indicating that it is tamper resistant it is a commercial grade outlet and we can see once again it says spec grade on the back here it's got this large bus bar and it has these easy to wire terminals right here we can also look, and on this one, it shows that this is a 15 amp, 125 volt rating. And if I were going to choose an outlet to put in my home, this is the outlet that I would choose. This commercial grade, tamper resistant outlet. It's going to have much higher quality components than the residential grade, but it also gives you the tamper resistance protection so that if a kid is trying to stick something in there, that injury could potentially be prevented. Now this is a 15 amp outlet and the next thing you can move up to is a 20 amp outlet. 
but it's important to note that a 20 amp outlet is only worth upgrading to if your wiring system and your circuit breakers are all rated for 20 amps. And what that typically means is that you're going to have a higher capacity circuit breaker in your electrical box, but you will also have higher gauge wiring in your circuits. So with a 20 amp outlet, you're typically going to use 12 gauge wire for the entire circuit versus with a 15 amp outlet, you're typically going to use 14 gauge wire. However, you could use 12 gauge wire for a 15 amp circuit. It's just that you're going to use a higher cost wire product. That 12 gauge wire is more expensive than 14 gauge wire. And that's typically why most circuits are a 15 amp rated circuit because 14 gauge wire is less expensive than using 12 gauge wire all throughout your home. Now we can step up into the next outlet that we've got here. This is a commercial grade 20 amp outlet. So if you do have wiring and a circuit breaker rated for it, you would move up into this commercial grade outlet that has this additional tab here for a 20 amp outlet. And that's how you identify it. It also has the identifying information right here, which says 20 amp 125 volts right there. And you can tell this is a commercial grade outlet once again, because it does say spec grade on the back. And we have this metal best bar as well as the metal features on the back here for back wiring and those higher quality components in the commercial grade outlet. And one thing you'll notice if you ever pick up a commercial grade outlet versus a residential grade outlet, that commercial grade outlet is going to weigh much more than the residential grade outlet. Now the last outlet that we've got here is a commercial grade 20 amp. We can tell it's 20 amp because we've got that additional tab and we can tell it's commercial grade because we've got this spec grade on the back and the bus bar. So it says spec grade up there as well as the bus bar. And this is a tamper resistant. It says TR right here, but it also says WR and that is weather resistant rated. And what that means is that we've got corrosion resistant metals and components in this to prevent corrosion. So in some jurisdictions, you can use these as an outdoor outlet if you have the appropriate cover for these. Now, in most jurisdictions, this would still need to be hooked up to a GFCI breaker or a GFCI outlet and chained together in order for this to be appropriate per code, but it really depends where you live and where you're at. But this additional weather resistance does have more heavy duty components as well as that additional corrosion resistance. And you can kind of see the difference in the metal here. Maybe you can, it's plated or just a higher quality steel than what we've got here. And if you look at the back, you can see that again, uh, it's a little bit shinier on this weather resistant outlet. And that carries through to the components inside as well for additional weather resistance. Now, if you live in a really humid environment, even if you don't have this outlet outside, you may wanna go with a WR or weather resistant outlet because it will prevent corrosion and this outlet from wearing out as quickly. Especially if you've got an outlet, let's say in a sunroom or uh, right next to a door that's gonna be open a lot or a window that's gonna be open a lot and exposed to a lot of humidity, that additional weather resistance can be really helpful. So in summary, if you're trying to identify an outlet, the first thing you wanna look is see if it's commercial grade or residential grade, and you can identify that by just looking at the back here. Uh, if you've got this spec grade on the back or you've got this bus bar, that's gonna be your commercial grade outlet. The next thing that you can look at is, is it a 15 amp or a 20 amp? The 15 amp are going to have these straight up and down receptacles. A 20 amp is going to have one of these with that little tab off to the side. And then if you're looking for tamper resistance, you're gonna to wanna to look on the outlet itself right here. We've got that TR, meaning it's tamper resistance. And then this one also is tamper resistant, but they put the TR down here at the bottom of the device or the top of the device on the little piece of metal, but it means TR for tamper resistant. And then the last thing that we've got is our WR weather resistant, which is gonna be right on that outlet as well. So if I needed to choose an outlet for my home, I would typically choose a commercial grade tamper resistant outlet. And for most people, a 15 amp outlet is going to be just fine. But if you've got a higher rated circuit, you could move up to a commercial grade tamper resistant 20 amp outlet, 
which is going to get you that higher rating. And it's got that little tab on there to tell you that it is 20 amps. Now, the price difference between the cheapest outlet over here, this residential grade, and a commercial grade tamper resistant outlet is only a dollar or two typically. So this is, I think, $275 to $3. And typically, one of these residential grade outlets is going to be about a dollar. So for that extra $2, you get a more durable outlet with heavier duty components, but you also get that additional protection and peace of mind of tamper resistance to potentially prevent an injury from somebody trying to put something in there because that tamper resistance will stop that versus a non tamper resistant outlet. It goes right in, which could lead to getting a shock if that outlet were live. So the additional peace of mind for that tamper resistance is definitely worth it. And in many cases may be required per code depending on where you live. So thank you for watching this video on how to choose the right outlet for your home and how to identify different types of outlets. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.